What's the word, YouTube? And I'm back with another visual from your boy Original. I know it's been a while. My bad. A lot's been going on. I probably always say that, but I'm not joking. A lot has been going on, and not too much has been happening with these releases. It's been hard to get these releases right now, but I got my hands on one. So let me know if you guys are having a problem with the Foot Locker app. I had one on the Racer Blue Fives, but when I went to go lock in my pair, it's like I, I, there was no button to push. But anyway, we ain't, this video's not about that. Before we get onto these Marina Blue Ones, make sure you like, you comment, you share, you subscribe. All is greatly appreciated, man. Thank you for rocking with me. And Foot Locker, get that app checked out. This is crazy. Even though my wife hit on for these same shoes right here, it's crazy how she always hitting. Even hit on the sneakers app. So I got two nine and a halves and the six and a half. Holla at me, actually not. Nah, don't holla at me because they, they ain't for sale, sorry. But anyway, on to these Marina Blue Ones. Wednesday, February 18th, I believe, and they fire. Not the best one, not the best quality one, but they, they there. We're gonna start with the colorway. So with the colorway, we have that Marina Blue Outer Soul. Continuing on, we have that white iconic midsole all around. Above that white midsole, we have a Marina Blue heel toe cap. Our toe box is in a black. Our side paneling is in black. Our check is in a Marina Blue. We have that iconic Jordan logo at the right side, upper. Our laces are in black, which we have a white lace and a Marina Blue lace. I ripped the Marina Blue laces out through black in and they fire now. I did want to try white, but it kind of throws me off when I throw in a, a white lace and a predominantly dark colored shoe. I really don't like that look. It, it works for some shoes, but this one I don't think it would work, but I should try it. Comment down below if you're gonna throw white laces in your Marina Blues. Continuing on, we have that patch at the top of the tongue and that white Nike Air. Our insole is in a white with that Marina Blue at the bottom stamped Nike Air. The Marina Blue colorway is hard, it's fire. It is simple, but if you notice in 2021, they're dropping a lot of overlays with these colors. The color blocking where it's like the Paulins and the Shadow 2.0s where it's not like the Royals. You see how the Royals have that black back when the Marinas have the blue with the black as well. Comment down below and let me know what you guys prefer, Royal or Marina. Whoever chooses Marina, you're wild, all right? But I still wanna hear what you have to say. So that's the colorway. Colorway is fire. They're not better than the Royals, but I am gonna get, they're not better than the Fragments, but they are fire. I'm gonna rate these a uh, five out of 10. They're hard, but not better than a lot of joints that have released previously, but it's a nice try, good try. Moving on to the quality. Quality, we don't have the best materials on this joint. I understand why we don't. We, um, we never seen this colorway before, but we should have some type of good material on it. Our toe box is not in that genuine plush leather that we all suspect and pray to get with our Jordan ones, which is okay. This is not a, for me, it's not a highly anticipated release. It's just a nice shoe that I wanted to acquire to review for you, my people. They hard, quality is here, but it's not over the top. It's not out of the ordinary. These joints is ordinary when it comes to materials. We have that synthetic leather throughout, toe box, side paneling, back heel, all is the same synthetic leather am i complaining no but i do want to say i feel like these will crease fast all jordan ones crease but with that leather the creasing does a good it does a good thing for the shoe when we have the synthetic leather and it bends up it looks very cheap it looks black if you ask me so quality i'm giving this a three out of ten i would have much rather genuine plush leather on these joints in this day and age Jordan, you're going up in price, right? So why don't you go up in quality as well? 
We're paying 170 for these Jordans now. So up the materials. If you're gonna up the price, we're the consumers. Listen to what we're saying. But anyway, should you cop? Yeah, they fire. I'm not forcing you to cop them, but if you do not have the Royals, you do not have the fragments, and you need a blue one, bam, they just released on the 18th. I'm pretty sure Foot Locker, Finish Line, Expressions, Evans, you got your Nike contract snatched. That shit is crazy, stop back going. But anyway, you can't get them at your main suppliers right now, so run to your StockX, run to your GOAT, run to your eBay. It's not bad. They're not beating you overhead with a resale price. It's very, very affordable right now. So jump on it now before it skyrockets. You know how these joints do. All it takes for whoever Kanye West to throw these on and now it's a $1,000 shoe. So grab them while it's low, price is right. You should cop, they fire. Like I said, if you do not have the Royals or the Fragments or a blue Jordan one, cha-ching. But anyway, I'm sorry for being out of the loop for so long. I'm happy I had a new shoe to open up to you guys again. Make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. All is greatly appreciated, you know? And I, I got a question. I got these from my bro at Finish Line. He looked out for me. Once again, good looking, my G. I appreciate you. Why were these mass produced? Finish Line, why do you have 15 plus sizes in this? Like Jordan, I don't understand how you guys move. We got 15 nine and a halfs of these. So, with the GS sizes at finish line, we got more, he got more nine and a halves than GS sizes total. Maybe there's another shipment coming. Maybe something's up. I don't know, but we got to get this straightened out to where highly anticipated releases have more shoes. It's like the joints nobody want are mass produced, which is unfair, you know? Us, the consumers, we, the consumers, we want some hype stuff too. We don't want to run to resellers to get them. So can we make, in this 2022 and so forth on, can we make it so that the hype joints are made in abundance as well? Or is that too much to ask? Comment down below if it's too much to ask. But anyway, I, I'm not mad at all. I just want to understand why joints like this are being mass produced. Anyway, like I just told you, like, comment, share, subscribe. All is greatly appreciated. Thank you for tuning back in. I'll be back real soon with my next one. And I'm tired. I'm tired of being out the loop. I love talking to you guys. I love making this sneaker content. And I'm sorry. I got another video coming. Stay tuned, y'all. Thank you.